Welcome. Today I would like to share my story, my journey overcoming burnout and embracing leadership resilience. Hello, my name is Jens Belner. I would like to start with a quick intro and background. I have 16 years as a corporate executive under my belt at Canon. I help leaders as a mentor at Copenhagen Business School, been helping leaders as an advisory board member, a psychotherapist and an executive business coach. My journey has been both rewarding and challenging. And today I'm here to share my story, a story of burnout, resilience and rebirth. As we delve into this discussion, we'll explore the three pivotal chapters of my life. The corporate burnout at Canon, a tale of success, identity and silent battle with burnout that nearly consumed me, the hidden leadership stressors, the internal battles, the politics, the weight of decision and the challenges of remote management that tested my resilience. My burnout survival toolkit, the tools and techniques that not only pulled me back from the edge of the cliff, but empowered me to thrive with renewed strength. My roles have been many, leading teams at Canon, mentoring the next generation of leaders, advising businesses and diving deep into the human psyche as a psychotherapist. But in the middle of these roles, I faced challenges that pushed me to the edge. Leadership, as many of you know, is a tightrope walk. Balancing the demand of the role with our own well-being can be a daunting task. But what if I told you that with the right tools, you can not only walk that tightrope with confidence, but dance on it. Today, I'll unveil my burnout survival toolbox tools that have been my beacon in the darkest times and have equipped me to embrace leadership resilience like never before. So whether you are on the edge of burnout, feeling the weight of leadership or simply seeking tools to enhance your leadership journey, this presentation promises insight, revelations and tools that can transform your leadership narrative. Let's embark on this journey together, rediscovering our strength, understanding our challenges and equipping ourselves with tools to lead with passion, purpose, and resilience. I would like to share my personal story, one that I believe many of you might resonate with. It's a tale of success, identity, and the silent battle with burnout. Early in my career, I took a typology test. The result, high achiever and enthusiast. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? On paper, I was the ideal candidate for corporate leadership. I recall an enlightened resource game at work, four teams each trading resources to achieve their goals. Three teams were like-minded, but one was a vibrant mix of all personalities. And guess who came out on the top? Yes, the diverse team. This was my first epiphany, the power of diversity. For over two decades, I was part of Canon's legacy. From the launching of the first digital camera to a decade of success and endless growth, I was in the thick of it. But all things, it comes to an end. The digital camera era ended, replaced by smartphones. Many other industries experienced the same shorter product life cycle and faster pace, pace of market change. This is a significant stressor. As the Nordic business director, I had built a thriving team, but the market shift meant I had to let go of many I had mentored. I was, it was heart wrecking and I felt out of place. My identity was so intertwined with my role that it, uh, that its decline felt like my own. The pressure was immense in Japan where Canon originates, there are terms for death and suicide from all work. I was on that steep cliff, unable to see the signs of burnout staring back at me. Asking for help felt like admitting defeat. But here's the twist. I had to get rid of my corporate identity to rediscover myself. 
The journey to becoming an independent entrepreneur wasn't instant. It was a path paved with introspection and resilience. My salvation. The tools from the Leadership Resilience Program, group meditation become my sanctuary and the disidentification techniques I learned as a psychotherapist were my guiding lights. You can only burn out if you are so attached to one identity. Here is crush. Burnout preys on those who tender their worth to a singular identity, especially for men. Society uh, expectations can box us into roles, but remember we are multi-faced beings. It's okay to seek help, it's okay to pivot when things don't align, and most important, it's okay to be human with all its complexities. So to all the leaders out there, be kind to yourself, recognize that you are overwhelmed and never hesitate to reach out. Your well-being is paramount, not just for you, but for those who look up to you. My key corporate leadership stressors. Now I'd like to invite you behind curtains of leadership revealing the stressors that aren't often talked about is a journey of introspection, realization, and ultimately resilience. When we speak of leadership challenges, the immediate thoughts drift to market competition and, co and customer demands. But my most transformative moment came from battles within. Internal competition is like running a never ending race. The drive to outperform can sometimes overshadow collaboration. I felt that pressure, the silent rivalry incurring in every boardroom. I remember starting in a corporate international team as a European account director. I was excited to cooperate with my new European colleagues, but soon found out that it was a rivalry to get the best deals for your uh, accounts. Then there's politics. The host conversations, the alliances, the power plays is a dance that can drain even the most spirited among us. The change management cycle is another beast, constantly adapting, evolving, and sometimes just trying to keep up. It's like sta standing on shifting sands, never truly finding stable grounds. The weight of acting on behave behalf of top management decisions can be a difficult duty, acting as a shield between top management and your team, executing decisions that tug at your conscience. It's a balance act that tests your integrity. And in the digital age, remote management has its own pitfalls. I've experienced remote management for more than 20 years. As a part of an international Corporate organization, my manager, the European vice president, has been based in headquarters in another country for 16 years. Straddling the line between trust and oversight is challenging. At some point, I shared some challenges with my German manager, and his response was, Do you want to micro? Do you want me to micro management micro manage you? It's a question that both a challenge and a wake-up call. But here's my epiphany. In the midst of these stressors, I found solace in the Leadership Resilience Program. It became my compass, guiding me through the storm. Though guided group meditations, I found clarity. The program's techniques empowered me to detach from the chaos and to view challenges not as obstacles, but as stepping stones. Leaders, our battles may be internal, but they shape out our external world. With the right tools and mindset, we can turn these stressors into catalysts for growth and resilience. As we continue our leadership journey, let's arm ourselves with the tools to navigate these hidden stressors. Let's lead with the empathy, resilience, and authenticity. 
my burnout survival toolbox. Now I would like to invite you on a transformative journey, a journey from burnout depth to the pinnacle of resilient leadership. It's a path I've walked and I'm here to share the tools that brought me back to life. We often think of external pressure as the primary cause of burnout, but my realization is the most profound battles are internals. We can experience the same event, but we act in very different ways based on our inner balance and state. A good catalysator for me is how I react to other people in the traffic. If I'm stressed, I tend to react more to people making mistakes or driving in an inconsiderate way. If I'm in balance, I'll react with a better understanding and empathy. Try to observe yourself from this perspective next time you are experiencing some unforeseen events in traffic. Now I'd like to share my burnout survival toolbox. Here are 10 life altering tools from the Leadership Resilience Program that became my guiding stars. So first of all is understanding burnout, recognizing its triggers and sign is the first step to prevention. Then there's the heart intelligence, so tapping into the heart's wisdom for emotional resilience, clarity and balance. There's the well-being transformation, so adapting habits, prioritizing mental, emotional and physical health. For example, doing heart mind coherence meditation. Inner healing, embracing self-love, forgiveness and healing past wounds. Problem solving for relationship, enhancing communication and deepening bonds. Emotional co-therapy, so releasing emotional baggage to find inner peace. Theta healing, transforming subconscious limiting beliefs into empowering ones. Mindset reframing, eliminating self-doubt and embracing a growth mindset. Self-awareness and reflection, understanding oneself deeply, recognizing triggers and patterns. Emotional intelligence, recognizing and managing emotions, both yours and others. My epiphany was realizing that leadership isn't just about guiding others, it's about guiding oneself. It's about navigating the murky waters of politics, managing change and making tough decisions even when they weigh heavy on your heart. Building resilience isn't a solo journey. It's about surrounding yourself with a support team continuously learning and setting boundaries. It's about embracing challenges, seeking feedback and empowering others. Resilience is more than just a, it's just bouncing back. It's about thriving amidst challenges. It's about having a vision and a purpose and aligning every action with it. And in the middle of it all, maintaining a positive mindset, focusing on solution, practicing gratitude and celebrating every win, no matter how small it is. Leaders, our strength lies not just in our ability to lead, but in our capacity to adapt, learn and grow. By integrating these tools into our leadership arsenal, we can face any challenge with great clarity and resilience. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Together, let's redefine leadership, embrace resilience and create a legacy of empowered, resilient leaders. If you are interested in building leadership resilience, you're always welcome to contact me for a free discovery session. I will also encourage you to take the stress level assessment test, which can give you further insight, not only, not only into the stress level, but also the assessment of the different areas of stress and help you identify any red flags. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my story today. I hope you found inspiration and insight.